Aston Villa nil, Chelsea 2 and Chelsea absolutely still won. Kepa Arifa Balaga, £72 million. You're having a laugh. That's what most people have been saying. Not today. He played like a £72 million player and Chelsea get three points and now the title race potentially could be on. Let's get into this. Welcome to the Gaff Guys, you guys. And in today's video, you know what we're doing. We're going to review the game against Aston Villa. Chelsea absolutely did not deserve to win that game. Chelsea's win today was a big club going to a little club weathering the storm and telling them we're taking these three points and we're not playing well so we're going to look into the good the bad and the downright ugly from today's game we're going to break it down into nice minute details and all it's going to cost you is free of charge to hit the like button subscribe to the channel and yeah and the pin comment is my instagram go and follow me nearly on 800 followers that's something kind of sick for me but Let's start with a good and let's get in. We're going to start with a round of applause. We need to start clapping, 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 clapping for Kepa Arifa Balaga. Because when you go away from home after a European away game where you absolutely decimated PAC Milan and everyone's emotions are all over the gaff. Everyone's like, you know what? We accomplished something great. We went to the San Siro and we won. And all of a sudden now you're going away to Villa Park. It's not the same vibe, man. Have you guys ever been on a night out where it was epic and then the next night you're meant to go out again, but you're just not feeling it. Your atmosphere is low and this is what happened to Chelsea. None of the players were feeling this game. I could tell you that for free. You could tell by the way the game started, we were not moving the ball with zip. We had 10 minutes all game. But we weathered the storm and got the result. That's a good thing. Good teams win when they play ugly. And today, the players that absolutely saved our bacon, our bacon, is Kepa Arifa Balaga, Mason Mount, and Trevor Chalabar. We're gonna break down all three of them. Number one, Kepa made six or seven fantastic saves today. And that triple save, the first one, was a mistake from him. I'm gonna say it, he pushed it back out, but the reaction to get down low with his weak wrists, you know I always criticize his wrists, his wrist to push that ball aside and after that to get back up and block it. Then the Thiago Silva chance where Thiago Silva tried to win a free kick and got caught out and found out. Then there was the one from Danny Ings and that Danny Ings one was massive. And that save was the statement where I said, we've won this game. How Kepa saved that, I will not understand. Cross comes in. Danny Ings is three yards out. Absolutely beautiful, crisp header and saves the shot. Chelsea win, weathered the storm in the first half, dominated. Mason Mount's goal. Mason, people are gonna say, had a fantastic game. On the contrary, I don't think he had a fantastic game. I think he had a clinical game. I think he had a very good productive game. He had a game that Mason Mount had under Thomas Tuchel all last season. Turns up in 15 minutes, absolutely dominates, and we deserve the victory up because of his performances. And today, I'm not complaining. We needed goals and he stepped up. Muy bien, thank you very much. That knuckleball free kick, very beautiful when it comes across. Martinez, you're a muppet. Why are you taking a step? Trust your wall. Number two, the goal for the first one, Tyrone Mings. I don't know what you're doing, but thank you very much, big man. Mason Mount, beautiful finish. Both times, Mason Mount made his own luck, and guess what? He reaped the rewards. You work hard, luck comes in your favor. Well done. And finally, the positive about Trevor Chalabar. A lot of people don't want to talk about it, but I will talk about it. Trevor Chalabar got hung out to dry by his teammates today. Playing Raheem Sterling, right wing back, was criminal today because he left my good friend Trevor Chalabar out to literally defend two players by himself. Trevor done very well. Trevor tried to slow it down as much as possible. He tried to be a nuisance as much as possible and actually came away with this game in a very positive light to the point where I'm giving him props. I thought he had a fantastic game. And who else do we need to give props to other than my man Trevor Chalabar? Graham Potter. Graham Potter's performance today at halftime showed why he is a great manager. As much as I come from the school of Jose Mourinho, where shit's going wrong, make a sub, half an hour, 20 minutes, I don't care. We need a change. He tried to make a change. Initially, he put Ruben Loftus-Cheek, right wing back, 
didn't change anything. Half time, man said, listen, Kukureya don't care about our feelings. You're coming off, bringing on Koulibaly on. Hi Havertz, you've been Pony. I am bringing on another Cesar Aspilicueta. We're going to a flat back five. We're going to dominate the midfield or attempt to, and we're going to win this game. And you know what? Kaladu and Aspi secured us. They gave us some experience. They gave us some composure, and we looked a better team in the second half. That was the positives from today's game. The negatives suck and these negatives need to be spoken about because today's performance from certain players were absolutely stinky. Kai Havertz today got an opportunity and a lot of people asked me, Alex, why on earth is Christian Pulisic not getting this chance? Why is Christian Pulisic not playing? And you know what? I can't defend Potter's decision to start Kai today because what did Kai do? Kai had one move where I said, this is the Kai Havertz I know. Made a real Kai Havertz, please stand up. Cultural reference regarding NM, but didn't really work out. Guess why? Because Kai Havertz had a stinker all the remainder of the half. And he deserved to be hooked before half time because of his performance. Didn't hold the ball up, looked reckless, looked lazy and looked nonchalant. And I hate describing one of my favorite players in this team with that kind of graphical language. Like, though they're not very beautiful, colorful words to describe him, are they? If anything, they're very negative and they're uninspiring. And it just tells you he was absolutely crap today. Raheem Sterling. Raheem, right wing back, looked shocking. Then he played at forward line. Forward line, as a number nine, didn't do anything positive today. Couple chances here and there, snatching at the ball, had a poor game for himself. Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang, what do I always say about Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang? Terrible footballer, clinical finisher. We created no chances for him today. Every time he touched the ball, he looked like he was gonna cause problems for us, not the other team. And finally, we need to talk about Marco Correa because I genuinely cannot believe Correa lasted as long as he did without conceding a goal. Because when you look at Marco Correa's performance today, him and Ben Chilwell were on a dance off of who's going to be worse. Correa was getting picked on, he was getting bullied and he was getting victimized by their attack. Danny Ings literally said, I'm going to stand on him, ping the ball into me, and we're going to cause problems. Kukurea turned into a rash individual. He turned into the best version I have ever seen of David Luiz on a bad day. Everything had to be one up front. Everything had to be uh, rash. Everything had to be done now. There was no cool, calm, and composed about him. Kaladu came on. Kaladu was very composed. Uh, very organized and Kaladu was very efficient. So I'm very happy with the changes from Potter, but the selection of uh, Kukurea, Kukurea deserved to be hooked. Ben Chilwell, brother, is it in your contract? It has to be in your contract not to pass forward. How many times, how many times does this man refuse to look forward and pass forward? Because the fact of the matter is, this man is getting on my nerves now because this lack of passing forward or urgency or quality is holding the team back. For crying out loud, do it for me, do it for your teammates, do it for yourself. Please, look forward, release the ball, have some quality. You're meant to be 50 million pounds. Pathetic performance. Honestly, we've got the three points today, but these players were all lucky to be on the pitch. Kova and Ruben, I, I can't say much about them. They were meh, meh players. Absolute meh. And the downright ugly, right? I know I said we weathered the storm and won the point, but today required a Hall of Fame performance from Kepa Arifa Balaga in goal for us not to get slapped and embarrassed. And why is this an ugly? Because I've seen this before. Brentford whipped us. West Bromwich Albion whipped us. Aston Villa in the past have whipped us. We rock up to these teams with an attitude like we are six time Champions League winners. Like we have Modric, Cruz and Casemiro in the midfield. We rock up like we got Kareem the Dream, Vinicius and Rodrigo in our team. We don't, we really don't. We need to know our level. We need to be fully committed to every game to be winning these games. So when you turn up with a shit attitude, performances of this magnitude usually occur. So please, in the future, get yourself an attitude adjustment, get yourself here doing you can't see me at like John Cena, and absolutely start playing so everyone can see you. Because today, it was an attitude problem. It was an effort problem, and more importantly, it was a laziness problem. Because there is no way you put in the last three performances and then go away to Villa and absolutely drop that stinker. We got lucky, 
We get the three points. I want a reaction against Brentford away. I really do. And I demand a reaction from these boys. Guys, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. Let me know your thoughts. I got a new location that I'm recording in today. Tash wanted the sofa, so I let her have the sofa. But I'm gonna be most probably moving back to the sofa. It feels very uncomfortable here. Unless you guys like it here more, then let me know. But hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll talk to you guys another day. Peace out, I'm out. Listen, massive day for Chelsea.